Warning, the hidden camera stunts in the show are performed by trained professionals. Do not try this at home. For this next prank, we're pretending it's my birthday. And this is my birthday cake. It's made out of eggs, flour, frosting, and a special ingredient, this guy. <laughs> Let's walk the prank. Bailey's birthday party is in full swing when our target shows up. Everyone introducing our next guest. Hello. Meet Olu. She thinks she's going to be entertaining kids at a birthday party. She has no idea she's about to receive the scare of a lifetime. So she does a few superhero moves with the kids. And now it's time to introduce her to Bailey's pet rat, Cranberry. What's this over here? Is this a little animal? Yeah, that's my rat, Cranberry. Do you have rats? I do. I have three. Yes, back with my super cave. Wow, Alu seems pretty comfortable with Cranberry. Now, to begin our next phase, we distract her by taking her into the next room to pour punch. While she's doing that, we replace Cranberry's cage with an empty cage, and then we cue Bailey to pretend that a rat has escaped. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Where is Cranberry? Cranberry! Bailey's obviously upset. Time to distract her with a birthday song. Happy birthday to Remember, Alu thinks that Bailey's pet rat, Cranberry, has escaped. I wonder where she's hiding. All right, let's cut the cake. I want her to cut the cake. Oh, would you like to just? Perfect, let's see which part do we want to cut. I hope Cranberry comes soon. Oh, don't worry, Bailey. Here she comes now. I'm, it's a good thing I'm not afraid of rats. I have rats at home, but that scared me a lot. I didn't know what that was. But that was like some sort of naked mole rat. I just walked the prank. Woo! On top, on top. What? Why are you all staring at me? Your cap. I've never seen you wear one like that. You look like the least intimidating rapper of all time. MC Baby T! <laughs> MC Soft Sir! Are you guys done? No, I got one more. MC Human Acorns! <laughs> okay, guys, enough. My regular hairstylist was on vacation, so I tried a new girl and she destroyed my hair. It's a total hatchet job. Can't be that bad. Oh, yes, it can. You always over-exaggerate. No, not this time. I'm so totally embarrassed. Do you know how hard it was for me to come to school today? It's hard for me to come to school every day. No, for serious this time. If anyone sees my hair, I'll be the laughing stock of school forever. Remember what happened to Hot Haley? Hot Haley? I don't know her. The only Haley I know is Haggard Haley. Same girl. That's what one bad haircut can do to you. Come on, Bailey. We're a family. Let us take a look. We promise not to laugh. Promise? Yes! yes. yes. That's not bad. It's fine. You can hardly notice. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. You guys aren't even making jokes about it. Yeah, it's terrible. I feel so sorry for you. You should just move. Go to a whole new town. Guys, we're in a prank drought. We need to think of something that will really scare people. Bailey's hair doesn't count. Herman, what would scare the poop out of you if it jumped out? Anything. Okay, uh, what would scare you the most? Easy, a dinosaur. Awesome. Herman, that would be great, except dinosaurs no longer exist, so no one's gonna buy it. I heard they still exist. Who told you that? I don't know, but I believe it. Well, actually, they don't. How do you know for sure? They could just be hiding. Yes, Uncle Will. Can I go to the bathroom? No. I mean, dinosaurs are pretty big. Someone would have seen one by now. You'd have to have everyone in the world looking at the same time to know for sure. You're probably right. Dinosaurs have just been playing hide and seek for the last 65 million years. They could have evolved to a certain point to where they can go invisible. They could be one in this room right now. Oh, no. 
I never thought about that. A whole new thing to be afraid of. Whether they exist or not, and they definitely don't. That is not true. We're not doing dinosaurs, but we could do the next best thing. <laughs> puppies. How did you get from dinosaurs to puppies? Puppies came from dinosaurs. At least that's what I heard. I think he means lizards, champs. Well, then go with that, if you want to be wrong. We're about to make someone walk the prank. Here's what we got planned for you guys tonight. We've hired a real babysitter to babysit Dusty and me. But what they don't know is that I'm not feeling so well. Because he's been bitten by a lizard. Let's see how the sitter reacts when I turn into this. Hi. Hi. I'm Sally. I'm Allie. Nice, nice to meet you. Dinosaurs don't exist anymore, but lizards do. And we're going to use one to prank our babysitter, Allie. She thinks she's here to watch two normal kids. But how is she going to react when one of those kids turns into a lizard right before her eyes? Our son, Herman, is actually a little under the weather. Uh, he's okay. upstairs. Should we take her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can go up there now. Herman? Hey. This is Herman. This is your babysitter, Allie. Hi. She's going to be with you. Hi. I feel good. Yeah, he. this guy had a little bit too much candy, didn't you? Hoping he'll learn the candy lesson from this whole thing. So Allie thinks that Herman ate too much candy. Well, she'll learn the truth in a little while. Can I have some candy? Ha ha. See? Are you <laughs> joking? Did you think he would actually eat more? No, he probably would. But then you never know, really. Yeah. I, like, I like candy. We know. I don't think it worked. So to pull off this prank, we had our makeup crew quietly standing by in the room next door so Herman could sneak over and get his lizard makeup done. For the first transformation, our crew applied a fake scaly lizard skin to Herman's chest and darkened his eyes to get him ready for Allie, who is busy downstairs with Dusty. Uh, excuse me. What? Are you a hippie? No, I just like these things. <laughs> no, I just think they look cool. Some people call I me a hippie because I eat organic and vegan and stuff. I heard people that eat organic fart a lot. <laughs> Is that true? No. It's if you're eating lots of veggies. Lots of veggies make you fart a lot. Do you fart a lot? You know what? I really don't as much as I used to. Now that Dusty got Gassy Alley to relax, it's time to get her upstairs to see Herman after his first stage of makeup. Excuse me. Yeah, I'll be right there. I got this rash thing right here. What happened? I just started feeling really hot, and then I saw it. Well, looks like she's worried about Herman's lizard skin. And when a babysitter's worried, that's when we know she's on the hook. Oh, no. It really hurts. OK, let me call. Let me call, OK? OK. Wait, no, don't. Don't call my dad, please. Why? I don't want to get in trouble. Why would you get in trouble? If it gets worse, then you can call him again. Please? So now that she's downstairs not calling Uncle Will, it's time for round two of Herman's lizard makeup. For this part of his transformation, we put on a scaly forehead piece. And to really sell it, we gave him in lizard contacts. Excuse me. Yes? OK, Mommy. Herman's really excited, because we still got Allie on the hook. Yes? Are you hiding from me? Yes, yeah, cold. Oh, what's up? What do you mean? Oh, no. Oh. Are you OK? I'm really cold. As OK as anyone can be with lizard eyes. Something else? Yeah, kissing from the thighs. OK. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, uh, but, but can I tell you something before you call him? He didn't eat too much candy. Don't call yet. OK, now it's time for Dusty to tell Allie what really happened to Herman. He was bitten by something in the backyard. It was a lizard. I, I didn't want to tell my mom and dad because we'd get in trouble. So we knew she'd call Uncle Will, which is why we have him standing by in our control room waiting for her call. Hi, this is Will. Hi, Will. Hey. I think you guys need to calm back. Something's wrong with your son. He has a rash. And then something's wrong with his eyes, too. While she continues to talk to Uncle Will, we begin our final stage of Herman's lizard transformation by replacing Herman with a stuntman who is dressed head to toe in a lizard costume. Um, Dusty said he was bit by something in the backyard. He was bitten by something? I want to talk to Herman. I would like to talk to Herman. OK. Can you come with me, Dusty? Herman, your dad wants to talk to you. Let me, can I talk to him? No, it's OK. It's no, okay. come with me, please. It's OK. 
Please come with me. Yeah. Allie's totally afraid to pull over the covers. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I'd be afraid too. Good thing we have our lizard stuntman ready to pounce. Can you please give him the phone? I'm sorry, I'm scared. We'll will go you, together. Will you do it? Will you no, do well, it, let's, just, let's just, let's just, I will. Let's just go together. Mm -hmm. Show. I am? <laughs> that was pretty scary, you guys. <laughs> You're adorable. <laughs> yes, You're so freaking yes. out. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> this is crazy. I wish I would have dolled myself up. <laughs> I felt like I was in a nightmare for a second. <laughs> I, like, was just so confused. I just watched the prank. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, I'm glad I'm not the one being pranked. Yeah, that last one was really scary. Super scary. Speaking of scary, how's your hair, Bailey? Great, why do you ask? Because we can all tell you're wearing a wig. Really? Shoot, my hair got worse. Bailey, I don't think there is a way that your hair could get worse than what we saw last time. Unfortunately, there is a way, and it's my fault. How? Well, I was really getting sick of looking at my horrible hair in the mirror, and that's when I decided to fix it myself. Oh, no. <gasps> you look like your head was put into a garbage disposal. You look like a human Wookiee. Are you guys done? No, I got one more. You look like a doll somebody found at the dump. OK, now I'm done. <laughs> so. What have we learned from this latest ugly development? That Bailey will never be a hairstylist. Bingo. And that I won't be the most made fun of kid at school anymore. Eh. Coming up next on Walk the Prank. Warning, the hidden camera stunts on this show are performed by trained professionals. Do not try this at home. Remember Bailey's awesome birthday party? Well, we also pranked our unsuspecting Princess Jennifer and Pirate Shelly's after they sang happy birthday to Bailey and cut her cake. I want the princess to cut the cake. Should I cut it like this? Yeah. All right. Oh, it looks delicious. Yeah, I want the pirate to cut the cake. It's the biggest cake I've ever seen. I have done thousands of birthday parties in my life, and this has never happened. And this whole time, I'm thinking, this is the strangest party. <laughs> I, I just walked the, the prank. prank. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is going to be our best prank yet. Yep. If these diagrams work out in testing, we'll be able to convince whoever we want that Herman can fly. Bailey, any thoughts on wardrobe to hide the cables? I'm playing around with the cape idea. I'll have some drawings for you later. When are you coming back to school? Everybody misses you. Well, except Becky Snyder. Without you around a torture, these are some of the happiest days of her life. When my hair heals, probably five weeks? Wait, you can't ditch school for five weeks. Sure I can, I'm a great hider. I played hide and seek with my third grade class and they're still looking for me. Bailey, if you don't come back, you're gonna flunk all your classes. Who cares? I can't walk into school looking like I cut my hair in a tornado. I can't do it, I won't do it. A girl my stature can't walk. <laughs> really nice being able to turn Bailey off. Mm -hmm. She should cut her own hair more often. Is our dummy Herman ready? I kind of have to go to the restroom, but I think I can hold it. This dummy Herman, Herman? Okay, let's do our safety test. Will, do we have our test Herman harnessed? He's harnessed. Cinder blocks ready to collapse? Check. Okay, everybody, if my design works, dummy Herman will take flight. Stand back. And go. Huh. Ah. I don't think I want to be part of this prank. Eh, I say we just do it. OK, this time I think I have it. OK, good, because I really don't feel like having my head ripped off. Don't worry, little bro. Here we go. Three, two, 
One fly, Herman, fly! <laughs> At least your head stayed on this time. Okay, this time it has to work. <sighs> I'm going to die. We gotta start doing these stunts outside. Hey, welcome to Walk the Prank. Today we've hired a temp stagehand who thinks they're working on a live vampire TV show. We're putting our target in charge of my flying rig, and that's when things are going to go a little haywire. It took us a few tries, but we finally figured out how to make the flying rig work. Stagehand stands off to the side, pulling a series of ropes that are attached to the actor they're responsible for to fly in and out of scenes. And that's the basis for this prank. So today we're shooting this prank on a real Hollywood studio lot. And here comes our target now. Meet Aaron. We told him that he'd be helping us film a live television show. And just to add another way we're going to prank him, Will's going to make Aaron think that he has something on his face. Going right here, dude. You got something on your face. I do? Yeah, you got it. That's one. So Aaron does our Hollywood grunt work for a few minutes until an emergency situation arises. Seems like our show's flying rig operator forgot to show up. So we asked Aaron to fill in. So Jim is not here. Uh, we're about to roll. So I need somebody we can depend on to do the uh, fly rig. Somebody that's expendable here but we need that fly okay, I got it, I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Aaron, can you come with me? Aaron has been on the job for five minutes, and already he's been promoted to flying rig operator. Uh, you'll be on this one? OK. And while our actor gives Aaron a crash course in the flying rig, the real fun is about to begin. What Aaron doesn't know is that the ropes he's going to be pulling are leading to nowhere and do nothing. These three guys are doing all the real work, along with our stunt double who looks exactly like Bailey, the flying vampire. And they're going to make Aaron think he's sending Bailey on the horror ride of her life. Hi, are you pulling me? I am. My name's Aaron. Cool. Nice to meet you. Um, so be super gentle, because I'm afraid of heights and I'm really motion sick. Sure, I'll definitely do that for you. Okay. Have you ever done this before? I have done similar stuff. You seem kind of nervous. No, well, you know, that makes me nervous. <laughs> no, I'm not nervous yeah, at all. He'll be good no. at all. He's going to make sure that he's taking care of me. I'm Are taking care sure? of you. I'm 100% positive. Cool. You do not have to worry about a single thing. Thank you. And you have something on your face. I do. That's two. Where at? Right, right, right. Uh, on the side. Yeah, there you we go. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Break a leg. Thank you. Break a leg. I hope my leg doesn't break. Oh. Yeah. All right, let's get uh, Bailey rigged up. Please be careful with me. So remember, Bailey is out of harm's way. It's our stunt woman, Kara, who's doing the flying. And dude, you got it right here. On the other side. That's three. OK, now while he's cleaning his face, it's time to start our live show. Five, four, three. Come on, stay close. This is where they said the girl disappeared and they never found her. Some people in the village said that they've seen a girl flying like a bat. Now we're going to get Aaron to think that he's really flying Bailey into the scene. And look, everything goes perfectly. But don't worry, it won't be perfect for long. Oh my gosh! Now let's watch Aaron's flying rig dreams come crashing down. Whoa, 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 hey! hey. You gotta pull her up, pull her up, pull her up. Down, down, down. Leave her down. You gotta pull her up. Down, down, down. Leave her down, leave her down, leave her down. Leave her down. What is up? Look, what did you do? What did Dude, happen? it was. Oh my gosh. What happened? Are you okay? He wasn't pulling. He had to pull down. I'm... He's on the wrong line at one point. Then he gets on the other line and he's what? pulling down. Aaron, what did you do? What, what happened? I was doing exactly. I swear I'm not trying. I swear I hope she's okay. What is that on your face? Get it off your face. And finally, that's four. What I happened? don't know what's on my face. I apologize. Do you know what you just did? Do you know what you just did? It wasn't my fault. You, you, you just, just lost the prank. Yeah! yeah! Get over here. Give me a hug. Give me a hug, bro. You were so good. You were great. 
was so worried about you. I was like, I don't think I did anything wrong. I swear. I'm like, I, I pulled up, I pulled down, thinking now it was it was fun. Like that was a that was a good joke. Like, but man, like I was like, I, I'm shaking. My legs are kind of shaking because I was like, I don't know what oh, happened. You're shaking. It was a lot of fun. I just walked the prank. <laughs> Decided to finally come to school, huh? Yeah, my mom got tired of sharing the remote. Bummer. Whoa, what happened? Oh, my hair? Yeah, new guy at the barbershop. He got a little carried away. He messed it up, huh? Yeah, uh... Okay, what is going on? We didn't want you to feel bad, so we got stupid haircuts just like you. I got short hair, so I had to get a wig. It's the thought that counts. I still look dumb. Really? You guys did this all for me? All for one and one for all. You guys really are the bestest friends anyone could hope for. It almost makes me feel sad that I totally got you. Oh, that was a long burn. <laughs> you got to hand it to me. That was a good one. You guys should see yourselves. You look ridiculous. Smile. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I gotta go to the bathroom and fix my hair. My real hair. <laughs> I love you guys, you're hilarious. Hi. <laughs> what just happened? He's a monster. Yeah, I'm gonna go sit somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs>